They exchanged the truth about God for a lie. A lie. And then it says this, and they worshiped and served created things rather than the creator. According to our culture, you either celebrate that you are an extension of the animal kingdom that made a huge jump, or you accept the fact that I've been created in the image of God. And I was born with a soul and a conscience and a heart. And I have a piece of me that has the ability to live on in eternity because I'm created in his image. Therefore, there are things in me that have the ability to go in eternity that other things in this world do not. If you notice, God does not redeem the world. He says there will be a new heaven and a new earth. He doesn't even try to rebuild Jerusalem. He just says there will be a new Jerusalem. You notice what God just says, you know, we scrap all this, but you know what? There's a piece of you that will transcend all that, and I'm going to take that piece with you and put it in eternity. We've been made in the image of God. Listen to me. You're valuable. You're not from the animal kingdom. You are from an eternal God who fashioned you who created you, who has a destiny for you, who has a purpose for you. 6,000 years of human history, and God said, nah, let's save them for 2023 and put them in Warrington, Virginia. Got a plan for them. That's when they take their breath because it's a part of an overall strategy. And you know what? We spend our time saying, God, what do you want me to do? But I know this, I live in a time that I'm destined to live and you live in that same destiny.